Quite possibly one of the most unique and creative shows of my generation is Craig McCracken's Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. A show about a world just like ours, except our imaginary friends coexist with us. And when we grow out of them, they go live at a foster home run by Madame Foster. Those familiar with the show know that there are three main human characters, Madame Foster, Mac, and Frankie, Madame Foster's 22-year-old granddaughter who helps at the home. But what if Frankie was actually just an imaginary friend? This conspiracy was made popular by blogger and conspirator John Negroni, who initially found it on 9 Gag. Now just bear with me here because I can't believe I'm saying this. This conspiracy is not all crazy. Negroni's theory, along with 9 Gag's, is that Frankie is actually just a younger version of Madame Foster based on their similar clothing. The idea being that Madame Foster actually just imagined a younger version of herself to help her with the home when she gets to be too old. The argument being that the show never alludes to Frankie having her own imaginary friend or even being able to create one. And why would a 22 year old want to work at a foster home for imaginary creatures? Uh, scratch that, never mind. That would actually be super awesome. Some flaws in this conspiracy lie in an episode where Frankie goes on a date and another where she shows her driver's license. Now why would an imaginary friend go on a date or even need a driver's license? Unless she didn't know she was imaginary. This is due to evidence in the show that when these creatures are imagined, they're created with an understanding of their existence. But here's something else to think about. What if instead, Madame Foster was Frankie's imaginary friend. It's possible, and a little grim, that Madame Foster died when Frankie was very young, and dealing with the loss of her grandmother caused Frankie to imagine a version of her grandmother to keep her company while she inherited her foster home. Well, could this be true? It's definitely an interesting way of looking at these characters, but these conspiracies rely solely on meaningless plot points most likely purposely left out by the writers. And the second theory runs into a major flaw. It is explicitly stated in the show that Mr. Harriman is Madame Foster's imaginary friend, and I'm no expert in imaginary friend logic, but I'm pretty sure an imaginary friend can't then create their own imaginary friend. I'm sure there are some loopholes around this, like maybe Mr. Harriman was imagined before Madame Foster died, but still, can an imaginary friend own another imaginary friend? This is starting to get way too complicated. Let's just wrap it up. It's an interesting theory, but all in all, it just doesn't add up. So, on the plausibility meter, I give the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends conspiracy three possibly imaginary grandmothers out of five. There are other conspiracies about the show, like the one about Frankie instead being autistic found on Creepypasta, but I found those way less interesting, and I chose to do this one instead. However, if you're interested in reading that one, I posted a link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. In the comments below, let me know if you agree with me or not. You can click over here to check out a preview for next week's episode. Make sure you subscribe to Channel Federator. Check out my channel as well. And thanks for watching. Bye!